Hi guys, it's me again. I thought I would show you my mouse. Yeah, so this is this tub, which most mouse breeders use. This is where he lives. It's water dish, because he's never had a water bowl. It's food that he's buried. Toilet water tube. Sawdust. Tissue. And mojito. Yeah, Momo is short for mojito. Which is a drink. Yeah. Should we go in for a close up? Yeah, that's mojito. As you can see, this wheel's more cage friendly than most, because not cage friendly, tail friendly. Because, um, big gaps there for him to get his tail caught in when he runs, because that can amputate a mouse's tail. And it's silent. And this is my favourite little man. Well, my favourite little mousy man. I'm not going to pick a favourite. But he's my only mouse. And he's gorgeous. He's only so tiny compared to everything else that lives in this house. Ha, <laughs> we're all watching you, Momo. We're all watching you. He's really shy. He's not a fan of being picked up. And as you can see, he's really fast. But patience is the virtue, so we shall see. Oh, my little man. Where are you going? Going. Yeah. Yeah. Should we leave you in peace? Okay. But yeah, that is what most mouse breeders use. I mean the good ones, I don't mean the shady ones. Because it gives them plenty of room, they can't escape. And yeah. So that is Momo. He's about a quarter of the size of Polly perhaps. But yeah, that's the box. And he quite likes it. My ladies. There's hate everywhere in this cage, but never mind. And nuggets everywhere. They're on the pets at home nuggets too. Because it's good for them. And the Florence. Move the cage forward a bit. Will you let me? You're not going to hate me forever. You're going to hate me anyway? Yeah, why not? My water bottle. Again, this is temporary until I have a CNC cage ready for them. The other accommodation was not working out at all. It was so hard to clean. So yeah, this is the tube I got from Wilkinson's. It was £1.50. Um, the snuggle sack. This goes everywhere with Poppy because I made it just for her. Well, they can both use it, but yeah. I make snuggle sacks a lot, but sleeps in her, so it's so cute. The hay. They've dragged it out of there to everywhere else in the world. They have two balls, but otherwise they fight. Well, not fight, but headbutt each other. Oh, look, do you remember me showing you the bird toy? Here it is. And as you can see, we have teeth marks. They've been playing with it, and it's a bit fr more frayed here. But yeah, because it moves, they can just pull it along and do whatever they want, really. This is their hide. They're in here. Right now. Mary! Mary! Puppy! I'm not going to play out and show the people the YouTubes. I'm going to show them how pretty you are. Come on. I'll go now. Away from the cage and pretend that I'm not here. I'll look out again in a minute. Look at the size of this sawdust. Look at the size of that. That's about... Hmm. Ten cleans? I said ten cleans, but a certain amount of cleans per cage, so that's about ten in total. And I've hardly used any. And that was ten pounds from my local pet shop. Which is a bargain. And the bag of hay, which is there, is 50p. Which is a bargain. And as you can see, it's nice and green. I prefer the green hay to the brown hay. It just, I don't know, seems nicer somehow. 
Mm. Still don't want to play out. They're very shy lately, and I don't know why. But yeah. Oh, come on, girls. Come on, play out. Come on, play out. I'll come and get you, and you'll be sorry. No? Alright then. What else can I show? Ah, yes. See this tank? This contains a snake. And she doesn't have a name. Because we can't think of a name. But, my age closer. There she is. She is very, very pale pink and she has brighter pink patches and she's a corn snake, a hatchling and she's very pretty, but she doesn't have a name yet. But she has a rock, bark, water dish and another hide that's actually for fish, but hey. And the bedding is aspen bed terrain from Komodo. If you keep reptiles and stuff you'll probably know who they are. But yeah, you can't see her very well against the bed in, but I'll have another look. But yeah, she has the cutest, cutest face. She needs a name. So if you can think of names for a pink snake, let me know. A lot of people say to me, how can you have a snake that eats mice and have a mouse and a Momo? To me it's not the same thing because Momo's my pet and he's his own character. But the mouse pinkies that she eats are frozen so they're dead. To me they've had no personality so it's not the same. I don't... Ooh, how noisy! Right, I don't live feed them or anything so... To me, that's fine. Hey, Fuzzbot. Hello. Florence. I don't know if the video of Florence was too dark, but she might come out in a minute. Fuzzbot, come see. Come on, Fuzzbot. No, I can't see in there. Should we show me this? <laughs> I can see your bum, Florence. Come out! Oh, oh, there she is. There's the pretty lady. Yeah, I don't know if you've noticed with long haired piggies, they do not like their backs touching. They don't like it. She hates being bathed, but she stinks. Don't you? Yes, Florence, you stink. Ooh, there's your bum. But yeah, it's not the biggest cage in the world, but because they're still quite small, they're okay for now. But they'll have a really big cage soon. Again, probably two by four. For my little ladies. The Florence! Look at that. She's getting fat. Got a big bum, haven't you, Flory? You got a big bum. You gonna let me play? Come off now, Mr. Bear. She's really shy. But then, so is Poppy. I suppose if Poppy was a bit braver, she wouldn't be as shy. She has the sweetest face. But when you've got hold of her, she's quite happy to sort of play and cuddle and whatnot. But the other day, she was asleep in the hay, and Poppy ate a bit of fur by accident. She bit her fur, I think thinking it was hay. You're silly, aren't you? Yes. You're a silly pig. But mummy loves you. You're going for a first one. Oh, look. Look at the fur. Oh. She doesn't seem to know how to walk. 
she jumps and she runs and she popcorns and that's it. I have yet to see her walk but right now she doesn't know what to do because I'm watching her. But this fuzz butt is Florence. Appears in there. And this is where they're living for the time being. I get them out every day for exercise and because they're so pretty. Yeah. But they'll be a lot happier when the CNC cage is done and I was no longer able to properly clean the hutch not going well and it stank and it was unhygienic for them. So I gave in, moved them into this store bought cage that I had. Ooh, Florence! But when they're in the CSC they'll be on fleece. Yeah. So that'll be good. Um I might do a little video on the treats I give my piggies. And hamster and mouse and bunny, of course. A little update on the bunny. And... Yeah, maybe some other things. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, Florence. Yeah, this is Flory Bear. And Flory Bear says bye-bye. Oh dear. Bye for now.